everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So the smart people at MIT have created a new underwater sensor, I don't know put sensor in there, it's meant to be sensor and communication sensor that doesn't need batteries. That's right. In fact, it barely uses any power at all. And according to the folks over at MIT, this could actually help set up an underwater internet sort of thing. That's quite cool. Underwater GPS. Yeah. So you don't get yeah. lost on a dive. Yeah, that's it. Totally. Better, better than a compass. Um, yes. So this new sensor will allow real-time sea temperature and marine life monitoring uh, without any power swaps or human interference. So yeah, it can be put in the ocean and just left alone to do its thing and that's it. That's, that's <laughs> Thanks for watching, it. guys. Yeah. So how does it work? Well, the sensor uses a transmitter that sends out sound waves underwater. That might interrupt whales or dolphins or something. Mm. Thanks, boss. Thanks, James. Um, Okay, so this underwater sensor transmitter sends out sound waves, uh, which then hit sensors with embedded receivers, transmitting a tiny amount of energy in the process. I just want to give a thank thanks to James, the shop guy. He's looking after us here in the shop. Thank you very much. I've got to put you in a credit now because you spoke in the video. Just felt like interrupting. Exactly. Anyway, this sensor then either is used, uses that energy to answer back, or it doesn't. Oh. So, that's, no, that's it just gives it the cold shoulder, like, no, I didn't want that information. <laughs> nah, -uh. Anyway, obviously, which, were, which is going to correspond to either a one or a zero, which means it can actually communicate in binary. Okay, yeah. That's how it means. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, in a nutshell, the energy required for this to work is stored in the sound wave sent by the transmitter. And when that hits, that powers it. Wig wham bam. It either sends it back or it stores up the energy. Okay, yeah. And that's it. That's how it's done. Genius. Those guys at MIT. Yeah. Someone should really do something with them because I think they're boys. Yeah. They get funding. <laughs> anyway. Tony Stark does. Tony, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he funded all their projects. Yeah. Oh, good old Tony Stark. I saw that in a documentary. Oh, RIP. What he did for us after the snap. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> just casually ruined an Avengers movie in Data Scoop News. This is how we roll here. Anyway, so the, now the lab tests have all happened. Uh, the next step is to see if the sensors can work underwater, like in actual physical underwater, rather than in like lab tests or whatever, and at further distances as well. So. Yeah. Uh, and if they do well, this could be a game changer. So when it comes to mapping our oceans, especially where humans haven't been to yet, uh, or areas that are too hard to study, too far out of the way. Uh, I didn't finish the text there. No, you really didn't. didn't. Um, anyway. <laughs> so basically it just <laughs> means we can go further afield. If it works, we can go further afield and hopefully, the ping or the sound wave doesn't interfere with a whale. That's what I'm worried about because it'll be some kind of ultrasonic blip. Yeah. And um, all of a sudden we'll get sort of whales rush, um, washing up on the beach. Well, according to an article, mm. and this is going to be like time for you guys, time machine, woo, it'll probably be on a DS head, but apparently all whales are going to be dead by 2050. Aww. That's a preview for a story that I'm going to attempt to write next week on Daily Scuba News, which you'll see in about three months' time. Because that's how we roll here. Uh, but yeah, this is actually quite cool technology. Yeah, it is. It's um, really good. Because if they can sort of shrink it down and put it into the size it's, of like a dive computer. It's, it's lit the thing itself is about that big. Yeah. There are already some dive computers that you can like communicate with one another. Send your buzzy a, a little bzz, buzz and their dive computer buzzes. A little emoji pops um, up. Yeah. Hello. A GIF. <laughs> Of them. <laughs> <laughs> I need your octave. Um, yeah. No, that's quite cool. I, I think they can really go, go yeah. places with this. Definitely. Anyway. They're smarties, aren't they? MIT. What do you think about this new sensor? Uh, do you think over time they could get this sort of thing to work on much bigger sensors? I, I don't know. I think the larger it is, the more power it demands. Well, then you, you get a bit Send it more pings. <laughs> 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 Don't know. Uh, let's have a chat about fancy underwater sensors that don't require any battery or electricity power. They just yeah, sound wave. They're, they're powered by sound, um, so you can just yell at it or wait for a whale to swim past. I'll probably blow it up. <laughs> Overload, overload. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed today's story, why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies, and of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything that is scuba diving and underwater and, I don't know, just anything to do with the water, smash on that bell icon. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. If it's wet, we cover it. That's wrong. 
It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.